Hello, Sad Pokemon Marshall. Welcome back to my DS Games Collection. This is part two. If you haven't seen the first part yet, go and watch it. But, okay, so everything's probably looks different because I'm using the zoom on my camera now, and it's a few days after I recorded the first part. So let's just keep moving on with the stack. First, first game, the next game is Sonic Rush Adventure. This is a sequel to the so first Sonic Rush game, which has, which is a 2D Sonic Sonic game with a 3D gra graphics. So it's, so it's 2D side scroll. It has all the like the speed from the first Sonic games. It's a pretty fun game if you, especially if you like the older Sonic games. Let's see. In this game, it's a bit different though. In this game, you actually get to uh, venture around the, let's see, the tropical island you get stranded on. The, well, not just the island. You get to explore all the sea around it, all the islands. Said. And it says Nintendo Wi-Fi. I don't know what the Wi-Fi is for. Probably for highest courses. Oh yeah, I remember now. You can play on Wi-Fi. Which is an addition. I only used it about once. It's pretty cool. There's also a new villain in this game. That's, uh, I can't remember his name. Some pirate guy. Captain Whiskers is his name. Yeah. Alright, so it's a pretty cool game. Let's move on. Next game is Kirby Superstar Ultra. As you can see, this game is also shiny on the cover. This is uh, a remake of Kirby Superstar for the SNES. It was one of, I have to say it's one of the best Kirby games by far. It's pretty much the same games. One of the pluses, though, it, ha um, it has graphical cutscenes. Cutscenes with 3D graphics and CGI. And I have to say, the, gra the CGI graphics look pretty much as good as GameCube. Which, which is a really plus. Oh, I didn't show you the back of Sonic Rush Adventure. That's what the back looks like. But yeah, the back of... Um, yeah, it's all the same things from Kirby Superstar. You can get partner. You can suck up any user change user ability to make a partner. You have all the characters from Kirby, all the abilities. In fact, I saw a lot more abilities in the last Kirby game I bought, which is Kirby Nightmare in Dreamland. So, Kirby Superstar Ultra. It's a pretty good game. It's kind of easy though, but it's that's easy games are good sometimes. They're easy to relax with. Just play for fun. New Super Mario Brothers. This is a must for any DS person who owns a DS. This is not... The, when I first got this, I originally thought it was like the, the old 80s Mario Brothers. Again, but for the DS. And I, I was expecting that, but sadly, no. In fact, I didn't even get most of the sound effects from the original one. And we got a new theme and everything. This is a platformer, if you don't know. It plays just like the old Mario games. Let's see, there's eight worlds... Uh, let's see, there's there's a lot more than three levels in each world, I can tell you that, and it has a lot of replay value. It's fun to just play over and over again. There's a lot of new power-ups, too, like the Mega Mushroom. There's also mini-games, which... The mini-games are actually pretty fun, and it's fun to play multiplayer with. Next one. Next one is my most recent addition to my DS collection. Uh, I just got this a few months ago. Elite Beat Agents. This is a music game where you... Have to tap the buttons, tap tap the numbers in order, and at the right time, and slide and do all that stuff. This was released like really early on with a DS. I was surprised I got it for too, so cheap at nine, ten dollars. It's a really good game for that price. Let's see. The, I mean, there's only about like eighteen tracks in the game, but it's that's not bad because the tracks are good tracks. It's not like not like they would get any really bad. Okay, my batteries died, so it kind of I have to go replace the batteries with my camera. That happens a lot, but. All right, let's just keep going. I'll probably just at least those last that last video together. The next game on I have to talk about is oh I don't think I said something. I said I don't forget. I don't know if I said this. Elite Beat Agents. It gets really hard. I can't even get past second difficulty. But next game, Rhythm Heaven. This is uh, my second. This is a uh, game before. This is like I got this game in June. Well, uh, it's very. It's a simple game. It's a. It's a, it's a music game, as you can probably tell by the title. And it's telling it says tap into the rhythm. They're showing some things. It's a it's a mini game collection and it has over fifteen rhythm games. So what you do and this game is fairly simple. You got you either tap, slide, or flick. And that's how you get through each of the mini games, depending on which one. There's a lot of variety, although there's about fifty mini games, half of them are just rehashed with different with new songs. But that doesn't mean it's not bad. They they, they, they took the good, better ones and rehashed them. So it's a very fun game. It and I still have it. There's a lot of replay value with getting all the medals and stuff, so I recommend picking it up if you are interested in music. The next game, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Red and Blue Blue Rescue Team. This is this is the version for the DS. The Red Rescue Team is for the for the Game Boy, actually. There's a nice shine effect, especially with Gengar's eyes. This is a Pokemon role-playing game, but not your ordinary Pokemon role-playing game. This one has like a, a top-down view, and you actually control the Pokemon. 
So you don't catch any Pokemon in this game. They join your team uh, by choice. No force involved. So you go around each dun so this is a dungeon crawler. So you go around each dungeon, you clear the dungeon, go to go up enough floors or go down enough floors, fight the boss. Or there might not even be a boss. It's free. At first I didn't like this game that much, but I went back and played it and I actually got to the end of it. It was I found myself engrossed in it. I recommend picking it up because you probably get this cheap very pretty cheap now. In fact you probably get the Game Boy one even cheaper. Let's move on. Pokemon Platinum version. I can't really say how much how excited I was for this game. I love this game to death. It's a lot like Pokemon Pearl, but it has like a new storyline. And the the distortion world or whatever they called it in the US or it, it, maybe that is the US version, I don't remember. But that was a really innovative thing to the Pokemon universe. And I love it. I caught I trained a whole team for platinum. It's a lot like it's a one of the better Pokemon games. I'm not saying it's it's not it's a good game. Pick it up. Pick it up. Alright, that's it for this part of my DS Games collection. You'll see those games next time. Goodbye.